and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Guys. Everyone, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. And today, we're going to be going over the brand new Most Feared Part 2 special stream. Sorry, guys, just woke up. Woke up really late. I uh, got really panicked that I missed the stream. But, stream was pretty awesome. We got all the information we need about the Part 2 of this promo. So, I'm pretty excited to go over all this for you guys. If you haven't already, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. For all the daily content, all your Madden needs, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. And if you haven't already, comment down below what, you're gonna th what you guys think of this Part 2 as the video progresses, obviously. And make sure down below, smash that like button, boys. Get this video to 200 likes. All the loyal supporters, all the OGs, make sure to always like the video. Greatly appreciate every every which one of you who liked the video. And guys, we got a plenty of stuff. We got house rules, new cards, uh, power up skyrocketing right now. A ton of new things from this promo to look forward to. But obviously, everything's over on Twitter because that's where we do everything. So I'm opening up Twitter right now as we progress through this, guys. So pretty much, the new house rules. They finally listened to us. They made it a lot shorter than usual because they know that we were all complaining about it, so that's pretty awesome. They did say it won't count towards our wins though, which is gonna be kind of annoying, but I'll go over everything as we get to the screenshots and everything. But, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I'm gonna give you guys all the screenshots, show you guys all the cards, and yeah, hope you guys do enjoy. So guys, we're over on Twitter. First card, 88 Jason Peters. We're gonna be getting, to, um, I believe tomorrow, 90 strength, 87 awareness, 96 pass block, 98, um, 96 pass block, 86 pass block, 86 pass block power, 83 pass block finesse, 84 run block, 84 run block power, 86 run block finesse. Next, we got, where is it? That's Jason Peters. Then we got Matt Milano, which none, none of his stats are above 80, not a great card. Gabe Jackson, 80, 79 right guard, 85 strength, 82 awareness, all 70 stats. Again, not a great card. Rashawn Melvin, actually a pretty good card in real life, actually a pretty good player in real life. Uh, 80, 80 press, 84 jumping, 84 speed, 84 excel. Decently athletic, really bad coverage stats though. And then Rick Wagner, right tackle for the Detroit line. Pretty much all his uh, blocking stats are above 80 besides run block finesse. Not a great card either. Let's head over to the next screenshot. We got Frank Clark, Noah Fant, and then Darnell Savage and Kiki QT. So for QT, we got 86 speed. That's about it. Everything else kind of sucks. Darnell Savage, 88 speed. So if you guys have his rookie premiere, Darnell Savage will be getting an 88 speed, although the rest of his stats are kind of bad. 81 hit power, 88 speed, 86 excel. I mean, I guess he's usable. Uh, no offense, 84 speed, 80 spec catch, and 81 catching. Everything else is bad. For Frank Clark, right end for the Chiefs. He's got 86 power move, 83 strength, 85 play rec, 85 excel. Decent stats. Then over here we got Samaje Perrine, 81 speed, 84 excel. But for a running back, the stats are pretty bad to be honest. Mark Barron, usually a pretty fast little linebacker, but here he's not. 80 speed, 87 hit power. Thought he'd be a little faster. 81 excel, decent. Dalton Risner, left guard, 83 strength, everything else is below his 80s. And then Steven Nelson, 85 cornerback for the Steelers, 86 speed, 86 excel, 87 agility, 81 jumping, 82 play rank, 82 press. That's, that's, that's not horrible. Then next we got for the ni a new 90 overall, Tariq Cohen. We got 80 speed, 88 speed, 89 excel, 89, uh, 93 agility. This card right here is pretty, pretty good. If you guys ever had that theme diamond, um, Terry Cohen, maybe now you could power the power him up all the way. 77 carrying, 73 catching, 92 elusiveness, 85 break tackle. This card is pretty good, not gonna lie. AJ Green, finally our first big AJ Green card. 86 speed, 92 jumping, 86 catching, 91 catching traffic, 92 spec catch, 87 short route running, 85 medium route running, and 85 deep route running. Now, it's kind of upsetting that he's that slow, but that's kind of how AJ Green typically is. He's always, always a slow card, which is why he's always kind of not usable for me. Casey Hayward Jr., only 84 speed, that's really low, 86 excel, 87 agility, 80, 81 jumping, 86 play rec, 89 man, 86 zone, and 86 press, yeah, I don't know, this stat's decent, doesn't really hit many of the thresholds, isn't fast, and I'm not a fan, and then we got Marcus Mariota, 88, gonna be like a decent middle of the pack mobile quarterback, 84 speed, 85 throw power, not bad, then he's got 88 throw short, 84 throw mid, 86 throw deep, 87 throw under pressure, 87 throw on the run, 82 play action. He's practically like Lamar Jackson or Michael Vick minus the speed. So in that case, I have to pass on that. Next, we got Indama Kung Su, which is the new set piece master, like how the Ray Lewis had headed the Earl Thomas, the Lockett, and the Cam. Indama Kung Su will be the set piece master. By the way, guys, these cards right here, I believe you're able to get one of these now from these new challenges that'll be releasing tomorrow too. So Casey Hayward, Green, to recall Mariota. And then these cards right up here are going, uh, these right here, Indama Kung Su and Kia and 
the Denzel Ward I'm about to show you. These are going to be like the top pieces for the new Master, which I'll show you in a second. Sue has a 68 speed, 79 excel, 95 strength, which is amazing, 88 tackle, amazing, 92 play rec, amazing, 92 block shot, amazing, 85 power move, and 70 finesse. So this card would be a better defensive tackle, to be quite honest with you. If you put this card at defensive tackle, it's going to be one of the best defensive tackles in the game. Let's see what we got next. We got Denzel Ward, 92 speed cornerback, guys. That's that's crazy. That's really, really good. Super excited for this new Denzel Ward card. I'm going to have to honestly pick him up. There will be a new house rule, so you're going to be able to get one of these for free. So I'll probably end up going. I'm have to go with Denzel Ward. I don't know. 92 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility, 89 jumping, 86 play rec, 92 man coverage, 84 zone coverage, and 90 press. This card, if you let's see, if you powered him up. You have an 85 zone. You put lockdown on him. He had like an 87, 88. If you can get John Madden maxed out, maybe you could. I don't know if you can get 90 on him. But you could probably come pretty close to it. But his man's really good. His press is really good. His agility is. He's pretty much Deion Sanders without zone. This card's insane. I really do like that card. Next we got Zadari Smith. 78 speed, 82 excel, 80 strength, 84 tackle, 91 play rec, 66 block shed, 90 power move, 71 finesse. So he's an awesome pass rusher, but he's not the best run stuffer. Then we got Keanu Neal, strong safety for the Falcons. Let's see. 83 speed, 84 excel, 77 tackle, 92 play rec, 82 pursuit, 79 man, 85 zone, 85 hit power. Okay, so this card's not too bad. He hits like a truck, decent zone, but the speed's kind of too low for me. I'm not entirely sure. And here we got the master, guys. Peyton Manning has returned to Madden Ultimate Team. I wish the stats were a little bit better. I was looking at them, but... Peyton Manning on the Indianapolis Colts, obviously. That's probably what he's usually known for. Although he did have great days on the Broncos. 6'5", 63 speed, 88 throw power. I wish the throw power was slightly higher. He has a 93 accuracy short, 92 accuracy mid, 90 accuracy deep, 91 throw under pressure, 78 throw under the run, and 93 play action. This card kind of looks like, like Kurt Warner, Troy Aikman kind of, and then 88 throw power. If that throw power is like a 95, I could justify it, but I don't know. I don't think this is a card for me. I mean, I'll, I'll look into it, obviously, if there's a potential chance to get it for cheap, but I doubt it. I think I'm more of a mobile quarterback guy right now. Obviously, I gotta give it a shot, guys, but let's head over to the Madden screen so I can go over the new house rules and the remaining information. All right, guys, so we're back on the Madden screen. Obviously, these house rules should be coming out tomorrow, which is the Monster Play house rules, as you guys can see right here. Uh, let's see, let's see. They're still here. So I wrote it down in my notes. So the way it's gonna work tomorrow when they release it, they said they heard our feedback on how we've been complaining about the length of these house rules. So they're going to be shortening them. It is no longer going to be 75 wins where it could potentially be full games. The way they're going to be doing it now, they said, is that it won't be full games, which means it won't count towards your objective wins, which I guess is kind of the drawback. So like the wins, so like the series progression wins, like it won't count for that. It's not going to count as uh, multiplayer wins. It's just going to count as a whole. And by the way, guys, there also is a Travis Frederick screenshot that I have to go over with you guys in a second. It was just, it was just put back up. So Travis Frederick is the third guy, by the way. It was Denzel Ward and Dominic Su and Travis Frederick. I'll go over that in a second. But guys, the house rule small is going to be a tug of war sequence. So it's going to be like how uh, kind of Superstar KO plays. You're going to be like an overtime tug of war. Whoever gets more yards, whoever gets a touchdown first, a very quick game to play. Definitely going to be a lot quicker than full games, but they're not going to count as full games. And the rewards should be another nap player, so you can either get Frederick, Sue, or Denzel Ward for free, and then the master is going to be Peyton Manning in that setup. Now I'm going to head back on over in a second to the screen. But guys, as far as house rules, do I recommend playing this one? Most certainly. Get one of the players. I'll give you guys a few methods to get Peyton Manning for cheap, how to do everything the way you should, like I did for this series. And also, um, personally, if it's going to be a lot quicker, I'll definitely get this one done, so it'll be more worth it in my opinion. I definitely don't mind doing it. I'm going to be picking up. I think Tug, I think Tug of War is actually one of the fun ones. I've been telling you guys that one's actually kind of fun. So I won't really mind playing that. And maybe it'll be like 30 wins, which is a lot more doable than 75 wins. That was pretty crazy, to be quite honest with you. But let's head over to the final screen. Show Travis Frederick, and then we'll come back. All right, guys. So final screenshot, Travis Frederick, 89 speed. I mean, 89 speed, 89 strength, 94 awareness, 87 pass block, 89 pass block power, 83 pass block finesse, 92 run block, 90 run block power, and 93 run block finesse. I really do want this card. Maybe I'll take him as a nat. But in my opinion, I don't know if Kevin Mawai is better than him. He might be. So I really got to compare stats. I do need a new center, but I was thinking Frederick this whole time when I was going to upgrade my center. But I got to look into Kevin Mawai, see if he's worth it. Obviously, as a free guy, Sue or Frederick or Denzel Ward, maybe I could just take Frederick and call it a day because he's a free center. But I got to look into all that, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, Ward, 
Frederick, and Sue are the three guys that are going to go into the set for Peyton Manning. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to come below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys. You won't regret it. Let's get to 11K as quickly as possible. We're so close. But thank you guys for all the recent support. I really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you think of these cards. Who's your favorite that from the bunch that you just saw out of all those cards you saw? And if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. Hopefully, I can get some more videos for you guys. I woke up super late today and I have school, so hopefully, I can get something else out for you guys today. But thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.